Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment where we love pop culture. Today, it's time for another comic book review as I dive into my first review into the Sonic universe with Sonic the Hedgehog, the bad guys, issue number one. <laughs> Now, Dr. Starline has a score to settle with Dr. Eggman, but as he tries to break into Egg Base Sigma, let's just say he has some complications that force him to retreat and think of a new game plan. While thinking of a strategy, you could tell that Dr. Starline is out for revenge on Dr. Eggman, but yet he still has love for him as he says, it's up to me to break the cycle and conquer the world for him, which is exponentially more difficult since I'm no longer in his good graces. Dr. Starline finally gets the bright idea for his big plan of domination and that in order to succeed, the doc is going to have to find someone who hates Dr. Eggman and Sonic mutually. Plus, it'll be very beneficial if it's someone he can sway and then dispose of. And where is Dr. Starline gonna find these candidates? Well, the Everhold Prison, of course. After using, let's say, some persuasion on the warden, Dr. Starline quickly gets hired for the job in the maximum security wing. And after a brief tour, the warden is quickly double-crossed and a host of baddies, including Zavok, are released. Now, before these group of bad guys make their escape, they already have these intuitions that they are all just pawns in each other's plans. And because Dr. Starline hasn't stirred up enough trouble of breaking out the goons he has recruited under the command of Zavik, orders are given to unlock all cells, scramble communications, and send the entire facility into chaos. And with the full-scale riot that has broken out in the prison, Dr. Starline and his crew waltz right out the prison gate with their intentions of doing some real damage. Now on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give Sonic, the bad guys, issue number one, an eight out of 10. Now, while it's been a while since I've read anything Sonic, I decided to jump into this series fresh. And to be honest, when I first finished reading this issue, I was like, where is the main title character, Sonic? But I understand where Ryder and Flynn was going with this issue, and that's setting up the bad guys for conflicts in the future with both Sonic and Dr. Eggman. Now, just what chaos will be unleashed with these bad guys roaming the streets? Well, we'll have to wait to the release of issue two on November 4th. Now for all you Sonic the Hedgehog fans out there, what comic book series have you guys checked out that I should check out? And have you checked out the bad guys yet? Leave me a comment down below. And guys, if you like comic book reviews like this, make sure you subscribe here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it, go now, do it now.